All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations unto you, elect, across the four ones of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. I am the priest, Sha'ar, from the Great Millstone Dallas branch, coming at you all with another lesson through the Spirit. <coughs> And Lord's willing, this lesson here is edifying unto the flock. In today's lesson, what I want to go into is the spirit of these Americans that we see today. Whether whether they're Edomites or whatever the nation, even Jake, what we're seeing right now uh, within these decrees and these laws that are being passed, all right, is um, uh, a whole nother spirit of ignorance that are placed on these people. All right. You see a, a spirit of stupidity. All right. I see a spirit of um, of just going with the herd. All right. You really see the true mind of the sheeple. All right. And um, and what it is, is really just all the magic, the propaganda, the witchcraft that's been perpetuated um, via the media, Internet, whatever the case is. And we see what it's doing to these people. All right. Whether it's relatives, friends, co-workers, whatever the case is, you see the spirit of these people getting worse. All right. And really just really calling a spade a spade. All right. Um, people are getting a lot more stupider. All right. They're getting a lot more stupider. And it only makes sense again with the with the propaganda that's being pushed, the witchcraft that's being put on the media, the stuff that's getting put in the food. And it's really a miracle. The mere fact that we've been able to wake up out of this nonsense, out of this magical spell that's been cast all over the world. And as I stated earlier, the simple fact that we've been risen up out of this and woke up out of this state of hypnosis is a miracle within itself. All right. It's a miracle within itself. But what you're seeing right now, as I stated earlier, it's a whole new level of ignorance and stupidity that's on these people. And that's tied into the prophecies because the prophecy said that that was going to take place. And when you read it here in the book of Isaiah, the 19th chapter, <clears throat> start from the top. It says the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of e Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Now, when you read this here, this for the newer listeners that are listening to these lessons and these shows, this Egypt right here is talking about America. You can even read about it being prophesied in the book of um, Revelation, the 11th chapter, the place that was spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. And obviously we know that he wasn't physically crucified over here in America, but everything that he stood for, everything that he fought for and everything that he deemed righteous is literally spit on and dogged and tossed to the side over here in America. All right. And even in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it goes into the prophecy of the Israelites being scattered and they were going to be brought into the land of Egypt again by way of ship. It talks about that. So when you filter these precepts out and look at the prophecies, it points it out directly what it's talking about. So when you read this in Isaiah 19 and one, this Egypt right here is talking about America. And the point that I wanted to go into was where it said, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Now, when you go into this word heart here in this particular verse, the word for heart right here is pronounced. It says Labab. All right. You have Lahab, but you also have Labab, which really goes into the same thing. But it's the heart. So it says the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. So when you go into it, it's literally going into the spirit of Egypt. Right. But it even goes deeper than that. It says the heart of a man, the soul, the mind and the knowledge and the thinking, the memory. So there's a plethora of different ways that shows us how the spirit of Egypt is melting right now. And in this lesson, what I want to touch up on is the mere mindset of these people and how you see it getting worse over time. It's to the point where these people are really getting stupider. And that's tied to the heart of Egypt failing. All right. Because again, earlier, it literally says the knowledge and the thinking. So you see knowledge, the knowledge of these people decreasing. All right. More and more. OK. They, the one minute they stand for something. The next minute they don't stand for it. 
All right, you got these Israelites that was out here asking Joe Biden to save them. All right, and now this tyrant is in the office running amok. Jake ain't saying nothing. The arguments that they make are stupid. The conversations that are out here, these people are are, are literally talking to um, rappers and models and everything like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and asking their input on politics and whatever the case is. At the end of the day, it's all retarded. All right. And you're seeing a stupefied spirit getting brought and put on these people. And again, it's tied to the witchcraft that's being put out here via the media, whatever the case is. And with this stupidity that's running rampant, you see a division that's taking place. All right. And it's even going to go further into it when you continue to read this. Isaiah 19 and 2 says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And ultimately, this is going into people fighting each other. All right. Americans fighting against Americans. It don't even have to boil down to race wars all the time because <clears throat> it's going to come to a point where it's going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, every man for himself. Now, this doesn't apply to the elect because the elect going to be taken care of and the elect aren't going to have a fearful heart in that day. But when it comes to these people that don't have any trust, no type of faith, and they literally just stood for anything that was over here, you're going to see them killing each other, eating each other, and you're going to see them justifying it as well. And it all boils back to the spirit of Egypt failing in the midst of itself. So what's being brought forth right now is the spirit of division. Okay. And the thing about this division even our Lord Yahweh Shai said that he had came to bring this. Before our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back with the holy host of angels, you got to see the spirit of these people get brought down, which we're seeing. You're going to see nations against nations, kingdom against kingdom, as the Lord Yahweh Shai said. And you're going to see division and inner fighting going on. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now, which is a clear indicator that our Lord is coming back. All right. I mean, it's to the point now where. I mean, for, for a lot of us that are in the truth, now, obviously, if you have your parents and you have good relationship with them, keep them. I mean, keep that relationship because you're supposed to honor your parents. You honor your father, you honor your mother, and you don't want to bring shame to that household and shame to that name. All right. But the reason why I'm getting at this, because there's certain family members and relatives that you're going to just lose connections with. All right. You're going to lose connections with them. And it's going to come to a point where a lot of them are going to want to sell you out, even certain parents significant others, whatever the case is. All right. All this is getting ready to happen and we're really supposed to prepare our minds for it. That's why it's important for us to really have it set in our minds of detaching. All right. Because we are a holy and a separate people. OK, even when you go into the word separate or the word holy, the word holy literally means separate and being separate. What does it mean? You literally separate yourself from evil, wickedness, ignorance, stupidity. All these different things. So you got people that know you, that might see you and see you might be a little separate, standoffish, whatever the case is. Well, part of that division that Yahweh Shai is bringing, all right, when it comes to the division of us and the division of the world, that has to take place. All right. Even with us being holy, it's part of the division. OK, because we were separated out of this world. A lot of us are separated from our households. We get annoyed from the filthy conversation of the wicked. You get vexed out of the stupidity that you see. And that's going to cause us to separate even more. And we're in that time right now, man. All this is part of that division that our Lord Yahweh Shai said he was going to bring when he came down. And that actually leads me to this precept here in the book of uh, Luke, the 12th chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 49. And this is in red. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, I am come to send fire on the earth and what will I if it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with and how am I straight until it be accomplished? And what he's going into are the missiles. All right. And when him, Yahweh Shai and the holy angels coming, when they come to do the great harvest, because the scriptures talks about a great harvest that's going to take place at the end of the world. You can read about that in Matthew 13, verse 38. And you can also read about that harvest. In Revelation chapter 14, uh, starting around verse 14, and it goes down to the great harvest. So in the midst of that harvest, when Yahweh Shai and the angels come, there's already going to be fire on the earth 
that's going to be kindled. And that's going to be those nuclear missiles. All right. That's going to be all the famines and the, the, the plagues happening on the earth. It's going to be a fire that's kindled on this place. All right. And let's see what else our Lord Yahweh Shai says. Suppose ye that I am came to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. So the Egyptian against the Egyptian, your relatives and people you know coming up against you, the mere fact that you get annoyed and vexed off of the conversation of these people, all right, their stupidity and such, you being separate, you being holy, all of this has to take place with our Lord Yahweh Shai coming back and returning. All right, these are the things that must come to pass, all right, for us to see our Lord. All right. And I went into it earlier going into the spirit of Egypt, because, again, this is what this lesson is going into. And it's going into uh, this part of it. These people being dumbified. And again, I mentioned earlier, it goes to um, the stuff they're putting out there, the propaganda, the witchcraft. And it's all part of the illusion. It's all part of the hypnosis that's put on these people. All right. And this hypnosis comes from Satan. All right. And. Even Satan gets this power from the throne because you have the left hand and you have the right hand. There's a lot of left handed moves that are being made and packs that are being made and deals that are happening. And it's aimed at you, Jake's, to keep you in a dumber, docile state. And that even goes into the scriptures right here. When you read this in Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, and I touch upon this often. But this is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse nine, and it says even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And this is talking about Esau, Edom. And you even have the creme de la creme with the global elites of Esau, Edom, those Chaldeans, those bankers that own all the world. All right. And their currency. All right. This is this system that we see here is is modern. All right. Now, I, mean, I don't want to say modern, but it's it's sculpted and modified after these guys vision. Which at the end of the day, they're really just fulfilling a vision on the left hand side because there's going to be dealings that are going to be done and things are going to happen to the point where the Lord gets rid of this place and burns with fire. All right. There's a particular measure that these devils are going to have to fulfill before the Lord brings his right hand. And part of that measure being fulfilled is the witchcraft and the sorceries that they put out here. All right. That's why it's stated with power, signs and lying wonders. And you can also read about the power and the signs and the lying wonders in Revelation, the 13th chapter as well. The mere fact that they're able to modify food, modify the human mind, perpetuate ideas and put it out there on the news, push fear and pump fear on the news. All of it is tied to the power he's been given. And this is the type of power that can modify the way that a person thinks and change it. All right. And that's witchcraft. And that's a weapon as well. And we clearly see that happening. All right. Verse 10 says this, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the, the truth that they might be saved. Now, earlier, all right, it says he who's coming is after the working of Satan. Now, when you go into that word working in the Greek, that word is pronounced energia. So he who's coming is after the energia of Satan. And when you go into that word energia, it literally means witchcraft. It literally means spiritual power that's tied to the left hand side. All right. So the mere fact that this devil has been given the media, he's been given platforms, he's been given power. All of that is still what comes from the heavens. All right. It's just on the left hand side. All right. So as I'm going into it within this lesson, the power to modify these people's thoughts and bring them into this dumb spirit. All right. The simple fact that the prophecies say Egypt, the spirit of the Egyptians was going to melt within the midst of itself. It's all tied back to the energy or the witchcraft. All right. That's tied to the left hand and we see it and all this has to be done for this division to take place as these people get more intertwined with the left hand. The righteous are getting more intertwined from the right with the right hand. And that's a lot more division and separation that's taking place. Right. But going to the point right here, it goes into the power. All right. The power this devil's been given. And again, that word for working is energy and meaning energy. Right. So when you jump down to second Thessalonians two and eleven. It says, and for this cause, the most high shall send them strong delusion that they should believe in a lie. And when you go into that word strong, that's the same word for working in verse nine. The word working is energy and the word strong for strong delusion is energy as well, which goes back to spiritual power on the left hand side from the wicked. 
and these people have drunk the Kool-Aid. It all ties back to the hypnotism that's being put here. This stupidity that you see is tied to the hypnotism that's being put out here. All right. And it's a strong delusion. So this delusion is literally part of Esau's spiritual power that he's been given. All right. To cause the spirit of Egypt to wax worse and fail. OK. And I want to go into another word here in the Greek. And that's another thing. We look at words here, y'all. So. That's something that you're going to see once you watch our videos and listen to our lessons. A lot of us will look up words to bring out the full, thorough understanding on what these precepts are saying. So when you go into the word delusion right here, that word is pronounced plane. And it says a wandering or straying about. And then it says mental straying. Okay. Wrong opinion relative to morals or religion. It's literally a spirit of error. All right. And what and it says mental straying. That's that's pretty much you veering even more far left from the from the thoughts that you've had before. So we're going to come to the point or we're coming to the point, I should say, with this energy that this devil's putting out here. He's literally put the spirit on you Israelites on these people just in general to stray worse than they've already strayed before. And that's tied to that witchcraft. And again, as I say, and I'm going to say it a third time, all this has to do with with the division that's taking place. These things are being done so that great division happens that our Lord Yahweh Shai was talking about. All right, while these people wander and stray further left, we're gonna go further right. All right, while these people get worse, the elect are gonna get more holy. And you're gonna be vexed, you're gonna be irritated at these things, but you're still gonna have the general understanding of why this is taking place. And it's ultimately due to prophecy coming to pass. All right. And that's just what it boils down to at the end of the day. Prophecies say that these people are going to lose their minds in the last days and bug the hell out. And that's exactly what you see. And I'll end the scripture off here in the book of Matthew chapter 24. In verse 16. And this is again tied to the last days, right? This is Matthew 24 in a, hold on, is it? It's in Matthew 24, let's get it. All right, it's Matthew 24 and the 12, forgive me. But it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, why is iniquity waxing bound? Because of the energy and the witchcraft that's getting put out here. And these people have absorbed all of it. All right, brought them low, brought their minds low. All right. And that's the reason why iniquity is abounding so much because of the low state, the low energy that these people are in, this vibration. So the cause of all this taking place, it says the love of many waxing cold, right? Now, when you go into this word here in the Greek, because it's a lot more than just the cold shoulder. It's a lot more than them seeing people in a down state and you're not trying to help them. No, it's a lot more heavy than that, because when you go into this word shall wax cold, that word literally goes into cycle. That word cycle is a Greek word. All right. So it says the love of many shall wax cold. That word is psycho. All right. And what does it mean? Somebody literally being psychotic. All right. Now it says of one of waning love here, which means, you know, general hatred. But let's go down here in the um, in the Strong's um, definition, because you, you see the word blow. It says to blow or something waning love. Let's see here. A lot of these definitions are tied to respiration, but. You know, we all know what the word psycho means. All right. And I'm even going to go into Google and just define psycho. One sec. Now, when you go into the word psycho, the definition is psychopath. All right. And when you go into the definition of it, it literally says a crazy or mentally unstable person crazily mentally unstable and that's exactly what you're seeing right now when you look out the window all right as your house is getting ready to make his grand appearance with the holy angels before it takes place there's going to be a spirit that's out here especially in egypt where people lose their minds and go psycho all right get more stupid waver and wonder in their thoughts that's all part of that strong delusion all right that's tied to it and that's exactly what we're seeing right now so prepare to see a lot more Continue to stay diligent, 
And continue to pray that the Lord keeps your mind sharp too, especially in a time when there's such wickedness and lies and deceit that's taking place right now. Now, obviously, as it's written over Corinthians, the elect aren't going to be taken by these devices, but we don't know over the elect. All right. So don't get too caught up and bent up on the propaganda and such. Now, obviously, we watch the news and we're watchmen. All right. But don't let this spirit take grasp of you, because remember, we're part of that separation, too. We're part of the division as well, because we are set apart. All right. So just the stuff that you see that you hate. Don't let it get to you too much and understand why this makes you separate and set apart than everything else. All right. In order for us to be considered holy, there's going to be people that are doing things and saying things that are going to vex you. That is going to solidify the fact that you are being set apart and made holy. OK, so don't let this deter you from your fat from your path and just watch and keep that eye single, you know. So Lord's willingness to lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise. Honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessing, many salutations unto you elect, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. Shalom.